Tarki Mai, Kiki Pakorongo Mai, Kiki Purongo Otiata Kyoto. Good morning, New Zealand. You're listening to Morning Report on Radio New Zealand National. I'm Guy and Espina in Auckland. And in Wellington, I'm Susie Ferguson. It's Thursday, the 5th of March. The top stories are three. Nikki Hardo says the Snowden files show New Zealand is spying on its Pacific neighbours and passing all intercepted information onto the United States. The Prime Minister is playing it down. Well, I'm not going to go into, you know, who we gather information from or why. Nikki Hardo will be with us soon. Customs want the power to demand laptop and phone passwords from travellers. It's one of those things where it can get the law by people. People who actually do want to avoid being searched have already got so many ways to avoid this. Also on Morning Reports, Winston Peters says he doesn't need a deal with Labour to win the Northland by-election. Labour can do as it wishes. But those Labour voters know they haven't got a chance with their person. In sport, Australia smashes cricket World Cup record as it wallops Afghanistan. And today's weather, widespread cloud and isolated showers, but it should though be fine in Canterbury and further south. And you're with Morning Report. The investigative journalist Nikki Hargo says New Zealand is spying on its Pacific neighbours on a scale never seen before. He says the government spy agency, the GCSB, is intercepting communications from countries such as Fiji, Tonga, Vanuatu, Samoa, and even countries as small as Tuvalu, Nauru, and Kiribati, and passing on that information en masse to America's National Security Agency. Mr. Harker says the GCSB indiscriminately intercepts vast amounts of communications, with the Waihopai intelligence base now involved in what is called full-take collection. He's basing his revelations on documents from the U.S. whistleblower, Edward Snowden. Nikki Hargo is with me in the Wellington studio. Good morning. Good morning. So, the extent of the interception here, this is what this is all based on? Uh, this is, well, there's various parts of the story. We, I've been working on this for a few months with the people from the Intercept, the news agency in the U.S., and we've found many stories uh, relating to New Zealand. Some are about who we spy on, but the first thing we're emphasizing is that during the last few years, in the period of the current government, they've gone from some selected targeting of the, of the Pacific states and, and other targets to a new stage where they just hoover up everything. They take every single phone call, every email, and they go straight off into databases, which the U.S. National Security Agency, da agency databases, in fact, it's such a non-New Zealand system that if a New Zealand intelligence officer in Wellington wants to look at the information that they're gathering on the Pacific, they have to go into a national security agency database to look for the stuff that New Zealand collected. So just to be clear, this is about every single phone call, every single time someone logs onto the internet to send an email or to have a look at something. Yes. That is being hoovered up. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me be really strict so we don't get anything wrong. There are a few countries in the South Pacific, Tonga and Fiji, for example, that do some of their communications via undersea cables. New Zealanders aren't capturing those, but most of the countries and most of the communications are using satellites, great big lumps of urban space which transfer the communications from country to country. Everything going through that satellite is being grabbed by New Zealand and transferred into these American databases. And so you're saying that the New Zealanders, if they wanted to look at this, have to go into the NSA computer system. Is this where the X key score software starts Press to come in? This, yes. And so does this mean what? That New Zealand is effectively fully integrated into the American intelligence? I think 